These are the men and machines of the NMRO. Nitrous powered, blowing, and injected racing warriors with steely nerves and mud in their blood. Today, their outlaw charge takes them to Sedalia, Missouri, where these rough and tumble racers roll with the punches. Coming up next, it's a side-by-side slug fest. This is Trucks and Tractor Power, featuring the all-stars of the four-wheel and off-road Jamboree Midwest Nationals. Welcome to Trucks and Tractor Power on the Nashville Network. Today we're at the Missouri State Fairgrounds in Sedalia for the four-wheel and off-road Jamboree Midwest Nationals. Hi, everybody. I'm Gary Lee. And in this part of the country, it's the Big 8 Conference. That means the challenge between the state of Missouri and Oklahoma. But it doesn't matter if it's basketball, football, baseball, or mud racing, because one of the top mud racers is Ron Tens out of the state of Missouri. But he's being challenged this weekend by a top lady driver from Oklahoma, Paula Harbuck. And here with that story is Army Armstrong. Well, Gary, you're exactly right. Rivalries are something that are in all types of sports, whether it be stick and ball sports or, in our case today, of world championship mud racing. We're going to talk about one of the rivalries we're going to be seeing here today. Oklahoma and Missouri. Boy, that is a battle cry anywhere you go. Bragging rights, each state, each year gets a chance to win. But today, we're going to be looking at something unique. Ron Pence, out of the state of Missouri, has won the world championships in mud racing indoors and outdoors. Also in today's competition, the young lady out of Oklahoma, Paula Harbuck will be driving a vehicle known as Sport with Disaster. She, too, has been a world champion indoors and outdoors in the sport of professional mud racing. So, if the battle between the states doesn't turn you on, you might just want to kick back and watch this one this afternoon because it could be the battle of the sexes before it's over. Gary? A border battle will begin from Sedalia, Missouri. Coming up next. Stay with us. Welcome back. Today we're in Sedalia, Missouri, where Ford Trucks present the Penda four-wheel and off-road Jamboree Midwest Nationals, a part of the BF Goodrich Performance Series. Gary Lee along with Army Armstrong. Today it's Class 5 Open Unlimited Mud Racing with the cut tires, the best overall time through 180 feet of mud, and each driver will make two passes, one in each lane. But you've got to remember, only one time counts. That's your quickest time. And you talk about a first round, a marquee round, if you will. George Gregory comes out of Texas going one lane. Who's going to be going in the other, Gary? Local favorite, Ron Pence in Tater. The new breed, and there's a look at Ron Pence in Tater. He's won championships indoors and outdoors. We talked about state rivalry between Pence from Missouri and Oklahoma. You got Texas in there now. Yeah, but look at Whoa. Ron Pence. Oh, look at him. Got him down. Ron 261. Hey, Gregory actually tagged a pole at the end with a three flat. But a 261 for Ron Pence. What a way to start the battle this afternoon. Well, he, uh, he's thrown the gauntlet down. Who's going to pick it up? Pence just seemed to be destined on this run. I don't know if it's a home state or what, but he was pumped up. He left the line good. A little bit out of shape through the end, but he's there. We mentioned earlier George Gregory and the new breed actually made slight contact with that pole down there. Army has made his way over to this rig. Let's check in on the damage to the new breed. Gary, one of the interesting things we're noticing, right by the old Top Gun Nitrous decal, there's just a little bit of a dent where he kind of kissed the chassis, but that's just enough on a brand new vehicle to get you out of shape. He's got to go back and make sure that the chassis is straight. Maybe some of the damage is done to the outer aluminum panel here put a new decal on it we're ready to go racing again but the big question is did he ding the chassis we're going to be finding out a little bit later stay tuned well i mean meanwhile the guy we talked about at the top of the show missouri's own ron pence lays down a 261 oh what a standard for the others to shoot for 261 and tater and he's made his way back to the paddock area and he's going to slip the helmet off and army's going to sneak in for a conversation with ron Ron Pence, a 261 right out of the bag. Is it going to get better or go away out there? Well, I don't know. It's a, it could go either way. You know how these mud pits are. <laughs> what about when you draw by a guy like George? You know, you run each other all the time hard. You know you got two of the strongest vehicles in the sport, but you know you're going to go up against him again, too. Are you going to make any adjustments? Not that I don't think so. I think she ran pretty good that time. 
And of course, Ron Pitch will have one more chance to better that 261. Talk about top vehicles coming up now, a four-time indoor champion, Tom Martin in the Super Trooper, and he will stage alongside James Powers out of the state of Missouri in his homemade rear engine machine. Powers runs a rear engine setup, but the, the, the vehicle being homemade sits awfully high off the ground. I don't know if that's an advantage or not in this particular type of race. Martin comes out with the chassis that is tried and true, and he knows by running on these indoor tracks, Quick is what gets it. Boy, he is quick, Gary. Look at this. Yeah, it's all Martin in this path. Let's see what the time is now. 2.61, the time to beat. And the Super Trooper at 3.09. But not nearly as quick as he would like to be. And there is the 4.40 for James Powers. Now, remember today, you get two chances to get a quick time. There is a difference, though. Martin ran out of the right lane this time. He'll have to make his second pass out of the other lane. Let's go down truck side and talk now to Martin. Tom Martin, a 309. What's going through your mind? Well, I didn't get the car hooked up on the starting line. I think we uh, either got a training problem or I, I overpowered. we got to go back and look at the video. He'll have one more attempt to improve his time. Turning the track now over to a Shane Back in the attitude adjuster out of Jeffersonville, Kentucky, and he will pull alongside Kurt Macklin in the Rowdy Ranger. Macklin out of Decatur, Illinois, runs a full-body vehicle. Back on the other side runs about an 1,800-horsepower supercharged Chevrolet engine and a 23 fiberglass replica of a Ford body. So if you've got to kind of pick a favorite or somebody that should have an advantage, you should be the lane closest to the camera. Oh, yeah, it's all shaped back in that 23 altered. Yeah, the quickest way to make horsepower is lose weight. The 421, not bad for a full-body vehicle, but back, he dials in at a 308. Well, I'll tell you, when the first run, though, turns out to be a 261, it really gives these guys something to shoot for. As uh, we take a look again at Shane Back walking across the mud, he's down now out of the car talking to Army. When the game only lasts less than three and a half or four seconds, man, when you got a back pedal, that's a kiss of death, isn't it? Yeah, that back pedal takes all the time out of it. It's a little rough track on that right side. I believe the left track's a little better today. Really do. And speaking of that rough right lane, now this was earlier. Shane Back wasn't the only one having problems in the near lane in the first round. Jeff Jeffers. And Sherry's nightmare was against Tad Horvath in the Dragonfly. Jeffers jumps the light, takes out the far end timing light, and he wasn't going all that fast. No, but I guarantee you, he thought he was going 1,000 miles an hour when he got out of control with it. Speaking of 1,000 miles an hour, Gary, this guy, I love to watch race. You follow race, and when I say Tim Richmond, you know the attitude that he approached a race car with. Steve Kinzer, the same way. Well, in mud racing, this is the guy that will come after you with the drop of a hat. He's going up against Gary Miller out of Winchester, Kansas. The man I'm talking about is Meek. Shake me. Well, we have seen him win before here on uh, Trucks and Tractor Power, and let's see what he can do. He has to better that 261 run laid down by Ron Pence and Tater. Good run, but is it fast enough? Remember, they have one more. Each driver with two passes. Gary Miller with uh, his problems at uh, seven seconds at 2.88, a good run, but that's only second fast. Well, I remember, like you say, he's got another shot. It'll be out of the other lane. Once again, a good run, but not quite quick enough. He'll have one more run. Let's go in and talk to Tom Meek. Well, Tom, a 288, are you satisfied with that? Yeah, the, the motor ran real good on the car, but it pulled to the right wall pretty bad, and I had a lift out of it one time, and I couldn't quite get in a second as soon as I wanted to, but the motor's running real good. I'm pretty happy with it. You are talking about going into second. Do you actually take your hands off the steering wheel to make the one-two shift? Yeah, I do. Sometimes I have a little trouble because these tires get to pulling the wheel out of my hand, and the ride's pretty rough. But generally, it works out pretty good. Well, still to come is Paula Harbuck, the first lady of mud racing. We'll see if she can best tater when we come back. 